Um, just the Guardian have just done like a bit of a, a having a big go at the old man. So, because um, I do some of his postings and stuff, like when when people are away, I'll cover just getting it done. Um, I'm just going to put a piece up about it. So we tend to like just post everything, like do you know what I mean? If it's positive or negative, it don't fucking matter really. Like show both sides of it. So um, they're a strange one, the Guardian. Well, they're just going like obviously because momentum, Labour momentum, people's momentum, whatever they're fucking called, um, tried to do this like demonstration against him at Watford, like accusing him of all sorts of bollocks. And, like five or six of the idiots turned up, and that's literally it as well. It's amazing because they were saying, oh, you know, great turnout for the demonstration. I was thinking, fucking hell, imagine what a bad turnout is. It's like six or seven of them. But what's hilarious is they've, um, when they posted their blog about it, they posted the picture from a different demonstration. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, not one from there. It's pathetic, really. So it looks like, obviously, there's more people. Um, so they're just having a go. The usual, the usual anti-Semitism bollocks. Um, which is, of course, absolute nonsense anyway. But if you say anything against Israel, then you're an anti-Semite, aren't you? That's how it is, so. All the things uh, I, I say about the fact that we're all one consciousness, having different experiences, and thus to identify with race and... Um, and the labels of this life is completely missing the point that we are all the same consciousness. It doesn't matter if you're Jewish or uh, uh, Muslim, Christian, non-religious, black, white, any color you can think of, it doesn't matter. It's just an experience. And there, therefore, um, to self-identify with race and judge others with race and all these other things um, is is childlike and a complete misunderstanding of what reality is and, and the nature of who we are. So all that, which of course is fundamentally um, demolishing the idea that I'm uh, in any way racist, I don't have a racist cell in the body, I think it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But to cover all that would demolish the the demonization. So they don't, they dismiss it with, with uh, in, in effect, it's new age rubbish. That, that's basically how that's sorted. And then they focus on the fact, um, twisting what I'm saying, um, to, um, to continue the demonization. I'll just give you an example. Um, there was, a, there was an article written, um, another article, different article, by a guy called, De a guy called David Collier. And this is what he says in this article. For five days, this is after the event, I have been living in the poison. That is David Icke. Forgive me if I'm a little shaky. <laughs> and, and about two sentences later, he starts off uh, talking about the talk. Icke doesn't stand up and publicly attack Jews. To be honest, it used to make me want to headbutt people, if I'm honest. Like, do you know what I mean? Like just, but I'm not that bothered anymore, really. They're just wankers, and I think you kind of just have to look at it like that. Um, that they're doing it for a reason. I mean, obviously, I think there's a f there's probably are a few of of them are quite well intentioned. Do you know what I mean? They're just misguided. Like they believe that he is a racist, Nazi sympathizer, fucking whatever, all that nonsense. And so they probably think that they're actually like you know by demonstrating it and by saying this and by saying that that they're actually doing something good. Um, and maybe you know the heart's in the right place, but it's it is misplaced. And then there's obviously the the larger larger amount of them which know that he's none of those things. Um, but it's it's a it's a great way to try and shut someone up. Do you know what I mean? Feel love, feel love, feel love.